Welcome back to the Not Just Sellers Workshop. This jig you probably seen more often uh, being made on YouTube. Uh, there were some drawings in an old magazine years back, but I always had the idea of making this but never came to it. And then this month I saw a few other YouTubers, well, woodworkers on YouTube, uh, making this jig. And uh, I thought, yeah, I can use this too. So, nothing new, it's done before, and I'll put some links in the description uh, to the other channels where they actually show you how to build it properly with dimension. There's even a channel that will have drawings for you, for free, so I'll put a link to that. But what I did different is making a white board on the straight side of the jig. Uh, I didn't put that there to put very big chunks of wood on there to make big dovetails because the maximum I've got is about 28-29 millimeters with this saw blade. But I made it because I think I can use it for something else. Now I kept two of those 7 degree angled uh, pieces uh, which everything is made out so everything is 7 degrees, 7 degrees, you know. So you have a continuity in everything, but I kept these, so these will fit in or on, uh, and it's, not, it's just temporarily. Uh, I'm gonna make something for this that I could probably screw from the back or whatever. Uh, but that means that I've got seven degrees leaning backwards too, and I'll show you why I think I can use this 7 degree backwards angle.
it's not perfect yet. Forgot to make this block uh, a bit bigger and uh, possibly screw it on or something. But I came up with a nice way to get my recycled box guitars. Uh, just another way of putting a headstock on. Just with two dovetails. Well, they're not perfect yet, but that's because this is thinner than the neck itself. I, it would be better if I had both the same size. But they're at 7 degrees, so in the end this should be about 14 degrees leaning backwards. And this dovetail is going to be shaved off, planed off, so everything will be smooth. But on the back I don't have the angle exactly right. So it should be like this. Well, it does fit. So that's about the angle it gets. And yeah, I've made all kinds of headstocks and did it all kinds of different ways. But I think this is a nice way to have a feature, something special on my recycled box guitars. And that's why I have these two seven degree angle pieces. Like I said, I've got to make this more permanent. So you also have like a backboard so that it doesn't tear out on the back. So I think I have to cut a lot of these at 7 degrees and just make a whole, a whole plank in front of them. But yeah, a great jig to make normal dovetails on boxes or whatever and to make nice headstocks on my recycled box guitars. That's it for this week. Uh, do some woodworking. It's a nice way to spend your time. Do some recycling. It's an even better way to spend your time. And I'll see you all in the next video. Até logo.